I love being a part of a big family. It's it has its ups and downs, but just looking at other families, I feel like we've been very blessed. I have my best friends. I'd rather hang out with them than anybody. And I know I can always go to them for anything. Even if I mess up, they've always been there. Being one of nine kids, it's never boring, for sure. It was all I knew. How am I supposed to describe it? It was normal for us. Um, he was my dad, mom was my mom. To me, they're normal parents. It was no big deal. It was loud all the time. My parents were always really good about taking each of us kids and doing things with us by ourselves. I was probably about three, four, and it was me and my dad, and we were just, he was just holding me, and we were just singing back and forth, and he said, it was epic mullet, like glasses, and I had just bright, bright hair, and we were just singing some like pirate song, I don't know, but I just remember just seeing my dad and just loving me and singing with me, and that's still something we do today, so it's just cool to see how he's been consistent in that. My dad's not perfect. Um, he, uh, he has tantrums like everybody. I have tantrums. Uh, he's definitely a good dad. Um, He's al he always um, lets us know how he's feeling, and we can do the same with him. Personally, I always felt like the black sheep of the family because I didn't go into the musical side of things. Um, so I basically related more to him just on some of their creative side. Like, I was the studious, um, organized person, so I would always help him clean up his office and um, like help him that way. I'm similar to my dad. We are very sensitive people, um, even similar how we lead worship, because I'm a worship leader, and I've definitely seen how he does certain things, and I've taken on some of those things. My dad's ministry has always been there in the living room, whether it was at concerts, whether it was ministering in the car, on the phone. If we were there, there was ministry going on. So that affected me in the fact that it was normal to have prayer whenever. It was normal to just break out into a worship service type scenario. Um, our living room is where mom and dad did most of, they still do most of their ministry there. Having people in the home that were strangers most of the time, I learned how to welcome people and be hospitable. And that's one of my favorite things to do now. I love having people over. I love kind of getting the strays, the people who aren't welcome. I love to welcome them. I love to make them feel like this is their home, even though it might be for a short time or as long as they need. It's definitely impacted me to want to do ministry, not necessarily the same way as he does, like being on stage and everything. I like, I would, I want kind of want to do background, and uh, but yeah, it's definitely caused me to be wanting want to be in ministry. You don't see it very often, but the person that you see out on stage at the piano worshiping is the same person you see behind the stage, and so it's something a lot of people don't know about. They don't understand that hey, this is the same person no matter where you're at, and that's something I've observed over the past year and a half working with them. Uh, for me personally, Dennis has always been, made a big impact on my life with his music and his worship. And to be able to see that and meet the man and be a part of his life has been a great honor to me personally. I feel like he's he was successful because he hasn't wavered in what he believes. He hasn't gone the mainstream, I don't know, like bowing to the media and the pressure. And he's always just stuck to what he knows to be truth. And that's all he gives to people, whether they accept it or not. He's very smart. He doesn't just think out of when he researches, he reads, he um, he discusses like deep conversations and with people. So I look up to him a lot and I believe he knows what he's talking about. But like I've said, like I've learned to kind of think for my, I, I have learned to think for myself and a separate from my family because that's one thing I wanted to do. I do believe in God. I do believe all the things my parents preach, but I had to kind of step back and kind of start over, like, where, what do I believe and why do I believe it? We're all, we're all weird for sure, <laughs> but um, 
Uh, there's different personalities in all of us. Um, we all like different things. Like, I don't know, diff we all like different kind of music. And, but it all ends up meshing together. It's pretty cool. My parents have done a very good job about teaching us how to be um, each other's, you know, biggest fans and how to always go back to, like, what do Jernigans believe and who are you, you know, as a family. So that's just definitely been a big impact in my life. I would just draw back on those experiences I learned from, from my dad and from my mom um, and all the people we've ministered with and to. And I don't know, I guess it's influenced me to this day. I would still talk to Christopher and say, hey, I remember when we would do this. And that still impacts me to this day. I'm very honored to say that I am his daughter and very honored to say that he has accomplished so much. He has um, helped so many people. The way he's impacted my spirituality has definitely strengthened it, um, caused me to do research and grow and like make my own decisions spiritually. Earlier in my life when I went through some some of my own challenges uh, in my teenage years, his music helped carry me through that and gave me the hope to carry on. Um, you know, I was facing a lot of hopelessness and a lot of despair, and now being a part of the family and being able to sit here on Wednesday nights and worship together, you know, he'll play some of the old songs, and it's just a constant reminder of, of the goodness of God in my life and, and how God used him to, to help carry me through the hard times. He's just another dad, so it's funny to me when people like put him up in this pedestal. He has done amazing things, but to me, he's just another man. He's um, goofy, he's just a silly guy, but he's also pretty well known to the world. So it's, I don't know, it's pretty surreal knowing that he has done amazing things, but at the same time, I'm just like, he's just my dad.